Hey guys, I'm Michael Simon. You are in our home kitchen. We're going to cook up a little feast here on my brand new Blue Star Range. I'm going to do one of my favorite things to make. It is a grilled flank steak with a warm bacon, corn, and arugula salad. Absolutely delicious. Super simple. Now, you know, a lot of times when I'm grilling, I grill outside if I have wood or charcoal. But if you have a gas grill, to me, it's so much better to do it inside. Especially, I have the 25,000 BTU burner um, with the range here, with the Blue Star range, so I could really get that great heat and caramelization, which is the key to a delicious steak. If you don't get that caramelization, no deliciousness. So the flank steak, right here, we're gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of kosher salt, some cracked black pepper, and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then what I do is I have a cast enamel pan, hot, I'm on high heat here on the 25,000 BTU. I have the top, almost like a panini press, on my 22,000 BTU getting hot too. So I could press it down, get heat from both sides, and the steak's gonna cook in literally five minutes and then we're gonna let it rest. So steak goes on. And you hear that great sizzle and sear, and that's really what you want. You want to hear that caramelization happening. So I'm going to let that go for just a second to let the sear start. And then I take the top and I put that on there too. So it's almost like you see a lot of times like you're making a panini. And you, you get that crust on both sides and then we'll flip it. Now back here, I'm going to get my bacon going. And when you're cooking at home, and I'm going to go over about a medium high heat here. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And you can see we have the open burners here, which are very important to me. It's just how it's set up in my restaurant. It gives me that nice, even heat, and that's really the key. One of the reasons that I love this dish so much is we're gonna take this bacon, we're gonna render it out in the pan, and then we're gonna use the bacon fat to cook the corn and make a vinaigrette right in the pan from start to finish. And I'm starting over a lower heat here because I want the bacon to kind of cook evenly. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the super crispy, crunchy bacon, especially in a salad like this. I like there to be a little bit of fat still in there <clears throat> because we're using a great quality bacon. The fat is delicious. It adds a lot to the dish. So bacon goes in, slightly cooler pan. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a touch. And that's the greatest thing about this oven, guys. You got incredible control with the range. You could turn it up and down, up and down, and really get a grip on what you're cooking. So I have corn, <clears throat> beautiful Ohio sweet corn. Look at it, it's fantastic. And when you're cooking at home, one thing that I would recommend doing that I love to do is if I'm making a corn dish like this and not like a grilled corn on the cob, <clears throat> save all the cobs and freeze them. You can make a stock later, which is delicious. And you can use it for a corn soup, a sauce, whatever you're in the mood for. So there's the rest of our corn, our bacon's going. Let's take a peek at the steak. Oh, look at that. See that? Great caramelization. Just gonna move it over and let it continue to kind of really, really caramelize. You want that great caramelization on a steak because that's where all the flavor comes from. The biggest mistake I see home cooks make is one, the range doesn't have enough power, or two, they don't turn it up as high as they need to. You can't be afraid of the caramelization. Some people go, oh, maybe it looks a little burnt. It's not burnt. That's where the flavor is. That flavor is in that deep, dark meat. All right, onions are ready, corn's ready, bacon's looking perfect. So we add the corn right to our bacon. I'm gonna turn down the heat now to low. Again, the uh, Blue Star Range gives me that terrific control. So I turn down the heat so the bacon doesn't start to pop. We're not making popcorn, we're making a salad. In goes the rest of our corn. Another toss. Now at this point, my steak is looking perfect. It's caramelized great on both sides, and I'm just gonna pull it uh, off the range and we're gonna let it rest so the juices go back in. Now I like things a little spicy. We're gonna put a little bit of chili flake in with our corn, and it's gonna bloom into that fat and really add a ton of flavor. Give that one more toss. As always, we want to give it a little taste. This is the time you do that. Does it need a little more salt? It does. Maybe a little bit more chili for me. 
but that's a personal preference. I throw the raw onions in just so they kind of melt just a touch, but they still have a terrific amount of crunch to them. And this is all off the heat now and some of that arugula. So the arugula just is going to barely wilt in our salad. In with that bacon fat. And now a splash of sherry vinegar just to kind of bring the whole thing together and brighten it up. And look, you have this fantastic warm corn arugula salad. I'm set that back there. Here's a great trick you guys could use at home. When you're doing a cut steak like this, put a little bit of olive oil on your cutting board. For me, again, spicy, a little bit of chili flake, some salt, and some cracked black pepper. So now as you're cutting your steak, the inside of the steak is getting seasoned with that olive oil, the kosher salt, the pepper, the chili flake. We never want to miss an opportunity to add flavor. Now, here's the thing about a flake steak. A flake steak, like a skirt steak, it's an inexpensive cut of meat. But the, to make it delicious, you have to cut it against the grain. So you can see the grain of the steak is running this way. So I need to go with my knife the other way. And that ensures that this is gonna be really nice and tender. And that great caramelization on there. Take our steak, and lay it right on that platter where we let it rest. You know, I'm as big as a carnivore as they get. But I really like to go equal parts, at least equal parts vegetable as I do my protein. And one, it's a little bit more affordable. Two, it's incredibly healthy. And it's just a great max of flavor. So you get an ounce, two, three ounces of beef with this beautiful corn salad, the chilies, the arugula, that smoky bacon. You really see an incredibly simple dish. It comes together really fast. You know why it comes together fast? Because the equipment that I'm cooking on. It's just like at my restaurant. I have 25,000 BTUs to really crank up the heat. I got the hood to fill up all the smoke. My friends are going to be here in two minutes. I'm ready to go. It's time for a beer.